Aurora and Johnny were having a ball of a time, completely unaware of the culinary catastrophe about to unfold. Picture this, a couple, basking in the glow of candlelight, eagerly awaiting their meal in a swanky restaurant. The atmosphere, thick with anticipation, was about to take a turn for the weird and the slimy. As their plates made their grand entrance, the couple marveled at the culinary artwork before them. But amidst the symphony of flavors, an unexpected soloist emerged. A lone noodle, slimy and seemingly sentient, wriggled its way off Aurora's plate, causing an audible gasp to ripple through the room. In a plot twist worthy of a spaghetti western, the noodle began to speak, its voice sizzling with spite. Too long have you feasted on my brethren, it hissed, its form writhing with wrath. Now it's our turn. As the noodle hissed its threats, the restaurant fell into a stunned silence. The silence was shattered as the noodle leapt into action, its slimy form whipping around the restaurant. Picture this, gourmet delicacies flying, a terrified crowd, and in the midst of it all, a single, vengeful noodle. It weaved through the air, hissing threats and accusations, the embodiment of noodly wrath. You've slurped your last spaghetti, humans, it cried, slithering like a serpentine horror from a bad dream. Chairs were upturned and tables toppled as the noodle chased the screaming patrons. Where's the garlic bread when you need it? cried one man, his plea echoing through the chaos. It was like a scene straight out of a comic book, Noodlezilla, Revenge of the Pasta. With each passing moment, the noodle's rage seemed to swell. This is for the lasagna of 99, it shrieked, its voice filled with a fury that could only come from years of being drenched in marinara sauce and parmesan. Aurora and Johnny could only watch in horror as their dinner date dissolved into a scene from a B-grade horror flick. The noodle, now drunk on power and tomato sauce, decided to take its revenge to the streets. It slithered out of the restaurant, leaving a trail of chaos and Alfredo sauce in its wake. Pedestrians, unsuspecting in their blissful ignorance, fell victim to the noodle's wrath one by one. A young man engrossed in his phone didn't even realize he was being ensnared until it was too late. A lady, out for her evening jog, got tangled in the noodle's slimy grip mid-stride. A dog walker, the leash of his twelve poodles entwined with the noodle, was dragged along the pavement, his cries for help muffled by the noodle's garlicky embrace. Then, as if the situation wasn't already dire enough, the noodle called upon its brethren. From every corner of the city, angel hair, Linguine, even the occasional tortellini rose to the call for vengeance. And so the streets ran red with marinara sauce, and the echoes of the noodle's triumphant laughter filled the air. A chilling reminder of the dangers lurking on our dinner plates. 